Oh shit! What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose! Uh, for candy I liked. I don't know, man. Do we have to play this one? Uh, do we have to? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if we want to. I don't want to. Then, then no. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't know. There is just I have always been a fiend for chocolate. Oh, me too, man. Candy, straight, just straight up chocolate. It's so good. You know, my favorite uh, chocolate bar, though, I think is, I guess, it's, it's sort of Reese's. The Reese's Fast Break. That thing is so phenomenal. Reese's Fast Break? Yeah. Are, are you just talking about the one that's like a, a lengthy, it's not like a Reese's cup. It's like an yep. actual, like it looks like and a piece of shit. Peanut butter. Yeah, it kind of looks like a piece of shit. And then it has a layer <laughs> of peanut butter along the top. And yeah. Mm. Yeah, no, dude. Yeah, I remember those. Those were yummy. Yeah. And then lately, Kit Kat. I don't know. They've been growing on me. I didn't used to care for Kit Kat that much, but ooh, oh, ooh. Kit Kats and Reese's are my two favorite chocolates in the world. Yeah, Reese's is so good. By the way, I have a cough drop in my mouth for those of you at home listening to us, so. Are you going to pull what you do every other time and go up to the mic and go. Oh, you mean just go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I was considering it, but. <laughs> I thought so. I saw... But then <laughs> I thought, nah, that? probably not. But since you brought it up, you know, <laughs> might, might as well. You, you obviously want me to do it, so. <laughs> I might as well oblige my, my good chum, you know? Oh, dog. Okay, you know what we were my talking about chum. earlier that we didn't get a finish? Yes. Jen and I have been rewatching Jersey Shore, dude. Because mm. it's one of my favorites. I love those, like, awkward, awful, like, <laughs> semi scripted. Uh, drama shows quote like, unquote reality uh, yeah reality shows like um, for example I really like uh, Real Housewives like <laughs> OC um, Orange County yep I really like Jersey Shore is my favorite one of all time I've, I've seen Jersey Shore in its entirety three times and now I'm watching it for my fourth time wow yeah I should I should sit down and watch it with you guys sometime dude I don't know it's just it's like fun to watch it's just a bunch of young well okay they're when I say young children, I mean like 20s. 20, early 20, and a little bit older. I think in the first season, the oldest is 28, so older than us, and mm. then the youngest is like 21. A bunch of them are more towards 21. You're going to be you're gonna be 26 in, in a couple months, right? Yep, correct. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, dude, they just get really drunk and like <laughs> act really stupid. It's like mm. fun to watch. How the fuck did, what? Well, oh, that missed you. Yeah, I just. I saw it. It circled back. And it's not even, what's, oh, oh, Jesus. <gasps> wow. Jeez, Ooh. that missile, friggin', that missile was all like, <coughs> Christ. Yeah. <sighs> I was gonna say, that missile is like, ah, my ass is your ass, yeah. But, then my cop. What? Nothing. That doesn't make any sense, James. What are, you, what are you talking about? That's, that's a quote from you. My ass is your ass? Yes. What idiot would say that? What a moron. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe somebody named King Cletus OC. Yeah, baby. Who plays Crash Bandicoot on, in this don't very moment. Don't say that. <laughs> Sorry. Don't say that. Sorry. That is slander. I meant who is currently playing Crash Bandicoot in the cart, not okay. someone who okay. likes Crash Bandicoot. Oh my gosh, how dare you. You know, I, I did like Crash when I was a kid, though. Hey, wait, can, can you go I up? I think we missed one. Did we miss one? We missed these two. We missed Ruse Tubes. Oh, did we not play Ripper Ruse track? No, we did not. At least, I think. I oh, no, we, no, we did. We Jesus. Did? Yes, we did. Wow. Just hit the circle button. Okay. Christ. Silly me. All right, Tiger, Tiger Temple. Temple. Well, since we won't have time for a Temple, let's pick our races. I want to play this one. Ooh, Tiny Arena. Dude, this one is straight up. Wario Stadium. Yeah, yeah, I figured. It, I mean, it looks, I think we played it last time you were here. Yeah, if you if you play the original CTR, this, it's like they didn't even try to differentiate it. It is no. Wario Stadium from Mario Kart 64. <laughs> it's like the the aesthetic looks similar. There's like the blue neon That's one of lights. The best maps on Mario Kart. Yeah, so I mean, if they're gonna rip it off, they, oh, hey, they did a good job. <laughs> and hey, getting to play it in HD, for K. Dude, do you think they're gonna remake Mario Kart 64? Oh, that'd be awesome. That would be pretty cool. They probably they'll probably just remake the Dude, tracks. Dude, they're probably though. gonna do, um, sorry, probably gonna do what they do with Smash Bros. Make oh, yeah. a Super Mario Kart Ultimate or something, where they have every single racetrack from every game. Oh, uh, dude, uh, th that would be cool. But I mean, they kind of already do that to a sort degree. Of, yeah. Like in Mario Kart Eight, like half half the tracks are all old ones. Yeah. You know. 
That being said, I do like when they come out with new tracks um, more than if they remake an old track mm. most of the time. I gotta say, playing Mario Kart 8, I think I had more fun with the, the classic tracks than the new ones. Yeah. Pro probably just because of nostalgia alone. Um, Sorry, buddy. No, you're I not. You a blue balls. I have no idea what that thing's actually called. The blue ball. <laughs> yeah, what else? Um, yeah, what else? Yeah, I don't know. But Mario. I'm not as big a fan of Mario Kart 8. Like, I, the the last Mario Kart game that really like grabbed me and sucked me in and really. God damn it! <laughs> Fucker! <laughs> Is this how you feel on a regular basis? <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, I. Uh, I don't know, the newer Mario Kart games don't do as much for me. And I See think, you later, lady! I, I think a big part of that is because the the snaking and the, the boost system, they, they, they watered it down to make it more casual, Yeah. starting with Mario Kart Wii. Like, you don't have to go like, left, right, left, right, left, right, release! Like in all the other games, it's just like, just hold down! Oh, you're okay, release. Down, baby. <laughs> Ow. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was just waiting for you to get in front of me. Okay, this is actually a really fun race, because you and I are just constantly neck and neck the whole time. Yeah, dude. <laughs> just well, last time each you were up. over, I was still getting used to the basics of the game, so I was doing really poorly. Yeah, you, you're, um, I, I, I sense your skills improving. You're yeah. getting back into the groove of it. Yeah. <laughs> See, we're so neck and neck, I'm like yeah. catching up. Keep leapfrogging each other. But yeah, dude, I, I don't know. Ever, ever since Mario Kart Wii, where they decided to simplify the boosting... I don't know. It's that kind of took something away from the magic for me. Mm. Whereas here, it's like the boost system. Like it really takes effort to time it properly, so it it adds an extra layer of skill. Yep. Whereas with the skill ceiling is a lot higher. I had no idea that phrase even existed. The skill ceiling. I'm not surprised you didn't, because you don't really play competitive video Legos. Yeah, not really. <laughs> skill floor, skill ceiling. You never heard of that? No, I never have. Uh, I'll explain it. When we're not neck and neck in a race. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if I explain it to you now, like. Oh, hey, a piece of so advice. Uh, I, I may have already told you this, but um, you see how like your uh, your tires will light up orange. Oh yeah, yeah, you have told me this. Yeah, as soon as they're lit up all the way. Yeah, you know, just press the boost button. Oh. That's how you time it. I timed that hey. jump poorly. Ah, damn it! Try to get you. Dude, this is actually a very long track. Yeah, dude, that's why I, it's just like Wario Stadium. That's also a long Ooh. track. Not this long. Dude, you, you can. I oh, love it. I biffed that. I biffed that corner so bad. I love that you can change the amount of laps in each race. Like you, you can go up to oh, like yeah. seven laps. I think that is a good addition. I remember when I played this at Best Buy a couple of months ago. I <laughs> when you were the only one there. I was the only one there. It was the greatest. I I, I could just do like ten races in a row, seven laps. Did you each. say there was a Sony rep there? Yeah, there was a Sony rep there. It was That's just so me and sad. him. <laughs> oh, like... it wasn't sad. No, I mean, I feel bad. They, like, they take the time to set up this cool game. <laughs> and you're the only one that shows up. And they even <laughs> pay some guy. They're like, yo, we're going to pay you to be there. There's going to be a lot of people and a lot of questions. And then wasn't he just talking to you about, like, other Sony games, like God of War and, uh, <laughs> like, the zombie game that came out kind of recently? Uh, yeah, I can't Oh, remember. I hit my own red pot, dude. Oh, I think... isn't that the best? No. It's like throwing a banana. In... Ever I, think, since... I think you just secured first place for sure. Every single item in this game is straight out of Mario Kart. Like here, Aku Aku is the star. Yep. Uh, the missile. You got a star in first place. That doesn't make sense. What the hell? Okay, well That's I'm definitely weird. not winning anymore. I messed up when I hit the red. Sam Oh yeah. So before I forget, yeah, skill ceiling is uh, like the amount of skill you can put into a game to get good. Uh -huh. Or skill floor is the amount of skill you need to just play the game at a oh, basic level. Okay. So like this game has a very low skill floor because to play the game you just press the accelerator button and, and steer. And steer. Whereas the skill ceiling is higher because you have to like manage your boosting. I or like see. in Fortnite the skill ceiling is very, very high because you have to like Oh can we do a nitro cart one? Sure. Which one? Uh let's see. <gasps> Clockwork Wumpa. Oh freaking okay, love like, this one. Yeah, we played this last time. Uh Whereas the skill ceiling in Fortnite is very high because in addition to like shooting and maneuvering and stuff, you have to uh, like build things really fast. So mm. the person who can build even faster, like each you know quarter of a second or even 20th of a second that you improve your build, that's adding to the skill ceiling. Okay, ready for the ultimate I'm 14 and this is deep moment? Yeah, dude. Fortnite is like Minecraft meets PUBG. 
Have, I, you, have you not heard someone else say that before? I feel like a million, bajillion, okay. eight trillion people have said okay, that. Okay, maybe I'm 14 and this is deep. Isn't the right way to describe it. It's just more like a somebody who never plays that game. Yeah, you've never played thing. really either of those. I, I, I've played like maybe five minutes of Fortnite. Oh, speaking but... of which, I've been playing uh, Minecraft lately. And yeah, I think uh, James and I might play Minecraft on here at some point. Oh, we have to, man. It's, it's way too popular of a game. Plus, you love it. I love it, dude. I always... <laughs> yeah, I always go back to that game every year. Like, probably two or three times a year I'll play Minecraft for a while. You were a... Uh, yeah, when, when I came over today, you were showing me this... Uh, this these fan-made... Were they fan-made? Uh, shaders, yeah. Yeah, these awesome shaders that... Some people make them and you pay money for them, but this one was just straight up, like, free. It was amazing. It was like night and day. God. It was like it was like looking at a freaking PlayStation One game versus a Xbox One game. The difference was like staggering how amazing it looked. I loved it. Um, but yeah, no, I, I don't have a lot of experience with Minecraft either, so I think it. That... How much did it take Wham to a server? <laughs> Say what? Oh shit! Uh, how much did it take Wham to a server? Okay, I'm just gonna ignore you because I don't know. The famous kid from the Minecraft con. I don't know what that means. There's this really famous kid who, like, they were doing Q and A, uh -huh. and he's he's pretty young, and he just goes up and he asks, uh, "How much a dedicated wham to a server?" And they're like, "What?" <laughs> Everyone on the panel has no idea what he's saying. And he's like, "How much ded dedicated wham to a server?" So so he wasn't like saying it jokingly, like he actually. No, he, he was a kid. Like he was a kid. Oh, okay. So he's just, Oh, he couldn't okay. speak full sentences like you. I or mean, me. <laughs> he probably speaks better than I speak now. But, uh, oh Jesus! He, wow. Yeah. So, and then he elaborated, or maybe it's somebody else elaborated. He said, "How much dedicated RAM do you need to host a server?" Oh, uh, okay. But that's what he was trying to ask. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Yeah. That's funny. I yep. like that. Yeah. How much dedicated RAM for the server? Yep. <laughs> It's really famous clip. How often do you do you press the, 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 the L1 button when you hold down the R1 button in Quest Team Racing? When you're trying to get a boost? Yeah, dude. <laughs> do you never watch Minecraft uh, cringe compilation videos? Uh, no, but that sounds 100% up your alley. Dude, those are the best cringe compilation videos <laughs> ever. I rewatch them all the time. I've seen all of the clips. All of them. Well, so many kids play Minecraft, it only makes yes. sense that you, like, you get a lot of cringe. I mean, most, most of the people who play Minecraft are little children. And then grown-ass 25-year-old men like me. I'm like, I'm gonna play Minecraft! Yeah, I remember um, when Minecraft first came on the scene, like, what, a decade ago? Something yeah. like that? I, my, my, my younger cousins, who are hardcore gamers, they, uh... Hardcore! Yeah, Minecraft's dude. not very hardcore, but it's fun. Well, when I say hardcore gamer, they I mean, play like... They a lot of video games. They love... Yeah, they're, so they're like you and me, then. Yeah, okay, okay. They, yeah. they were just, like, super, uh big into Minecraft. Like, yeah, dude, we're gonna do this on Minecraft. We're gonna do this. Dude. And I just did not care. I was like, huh, okay. This is dude. the thing nowadays. Yeah, I was super into Minecraft. And now it's still the thing. But, like, when I saw how popular it was with children, I was, like, mind blown. Oh. Alright, dude. Uh, let's just add a bonus level to this one and call it good for today, I think. Think so? Yeah. Alright, sure. Alright, your choice. Not? What's the final race? My choice? Yeah, yeah. I mean, this one was my choice, but... Okay, then I'll choose. Yeah, you do I just don't choose. know them. I'm the one who owns I kinda the wanna do one of these... Nitro Kart. I know you like Hyper Spaceway. I didn't like that one. Oh, you didn't? It was cool, but oh, I got so effed in the A. Uh, All assembly right. Lane? Alright, well, if you want to go up, you'll find the easier ones near the oh, top. Okay. Like, oh, Electron Avenue is pretty cool. If cool. you scroll down, it's a Nitro. Yeah. Okay, this one does look cool. Welcome to Electron Avenue. Gonna take me higher. Let's see, I'm gonna be, uh, I'll be Coco for this one. Okay. Give Coco some love. Yeah, dude, but seriously, children were so into Minecraft. Yeah, in high school, uh, when Minecraft went beta, like, I saw somebody else play it during Alpha. I remember I put, I, like, saw it really early on, and it blew my mind. I was like, what? He's, like, randomly generated worlds where you can interact with everything and, like, re like move things, and it just blew my freaking mind. I mean, the uh, fact that it's just, like, a big shared world you can yeah. play with other people is, like, yep. and that's probably the main appeal, right? Yeah, exactly. So now when I play, I pretty much always play with my friends, except from today, because I was just playing with that shader. Uh, but You're playing with yourself. Yeah, dude. Uh, <laughs> so I, I was asking a bunch of... Uh, oh, yeah, 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 sorry. That, that's what I was going to say. 
So in high school, when I got into it, when I was like in beta, uh, you know, we had an extra desktop laying around, but it was a piece of crap. If you had more than two people on at the server at one time, like it would choke. No oh, one could man. move. Everyone would rubber band like crazy. You couldn't do anything. So all of my buddies and myself, uh, like crowdfunded essentially a new server that I hosted at my house just for Minecraft. Oh, you guys, so, you guys like saved money together? Yeah, to yeah, get yeah. It? Oh, that's like, so cool. I, I contributed the most because it was going to be my computer. But <laughs> yeah, all my friends probably contributed like a total of $200 or more just yeah. so we could have a Minecraft server. The, the, that kind of reminds me of the time you... I remember one time at S's house, you, you friggin' mm -hmm. uh... The you, bus? Y yeah, the, did you guys ever end up buying that no, bus? No, no, we ended up refunding everyone's money. I, I just, that was like pre, the pre-Kickstarter days. Yeah, you dude. Know that? You, you totally could have made a Kickstarter page for that. <laughs> so are, are you going to tell the story? Yeah, I, I just remember you saying, uh, when you were announcing it to everybody, you said, Well, they, they don't know what it is. The bus. Yes, they, they don't know, the viewers don't know anything about this. Uh, okay, well, I, I'm getting to it. So, at S's party, when you uh, were going to announce that, that I uh, shared plan to get everybody to help you buy a bus that's the that's the thing i'm telling the cue the audience in on they don't know yes. what <laughs> just let me audience finish. when i was in high school we all wanted to buy a shared bus so that we could drive around together and one time i made a speech to everyone there and that's what i'm getting to yes but you didn't mention what the speech was about or anything i was getting to oh my that. god you're like there was a thing but i'm not going to talk about that there was a speech going around around this thing i was like, getting to it holy sorry F that, man. Am, I, am, I, am i taking way too long to get to the punchline good god no not even you're just you're missing the the meat and bones you're like <laughs> we ate burritos tonight but this burrito you served me up was just a tortilla uh, that's okay. it that's it all, all i was gonna say I just remember your speech being really awesome. You said, guys, when I was, ever since I was a baby narwhal, I had a wonderful dream to buy a bus. So I hope that we all, we can all come together. Oh, I hit the middle button. I hit the middle button. Okay, I'm going to press X in three, two, one, X. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <sighs> That's all I was going to say. The fact that you said that you were a baby narwhal was cute. Yeah, and I got everyone to pitch in we had a bible that we cut some pages out, <sighs> and then we stored the money in there god jen why do you why do you live with this guy he, he sucks so much ass that's what Jesus. she likes about me i'm trying to oh right jen? <laughs> oh jeez. way to make a dirty joke about jen no thank you i didn't say that i oh not literally oh no okay. literally i didn't say oh. whose oh so your own ass Ow. I didn't say mine either. Okay, well, whose ass do you like to suck then? Fine, between you and me, Cletus. He's my property. I can do whatever I want to. Yeah. Woof, woof. Okay. <laughs> okay, I think we're done talking about the bus now. So what happened? I, I was just trying to say I, your speech I'm was fun. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Good Lord. How did I get seventh place? Or I didn't get eighth place. I meant, oh god, it's not over. Oh, I thought you passed. Okay, no, that wasn't you then. No, I'm in seventh place, man. I'm doing terrible. Okay, so I remember last weekend. Oh, uh, I'm in eighth place again. So, so guess what I what I did last weekend when I first got this game. What? So th there's a new song in uh, Toy Story 4, sung by Randy Newman. Yeah. You know the guy who sings. You got yes. a friend in me. A friend in me. You got a friend in me. I, I, I do love his voice, by the way. I, I like to tease him for his voice, but I do love it. I don't think he sounds like that. When the road looks rough ahead and you're miles and miles from your nice warm bed. <laughs> you're giving him like a lisp thing. That's Randy. Okay, well. A bed. Yeah, okay. That, he, doesn't, that's he doesn't sound like that. Yes, he does. No. When's the last time you heard You Got a Friend in Me? Since we were I, like two? Last time I heard Randy Newman was probably like a month or two ago. Really? Yeah, I listen to Randy Newman's music. Okay, well, I don't know anything about Randy Newman's music aside from Toy Story. And <laughs> that that shows how cultured I am. The point was, um, there's a new song that he wrote for. Hello, everybody. It's me, Randy Newman. Randy. Duh. He's not talking like that. There was a new song he wrote for Toy Story Four called called uh, I can't let you throw yourself away. Because uh, so what I did was uh, what's cool about this game is that you can turn off the audio. So. <laughs> Which is something you can do in a lot of games, now that I, I think about it. I double slammed you, by the way. Jesus Christ. I'm barely gonna make it! Barely gonna make yes! it! Yes! No! A so I, I turned off the audio in this game, and I put on that song. The, and I, I raced, uh... 
You know that one racetrack with pinstripe that's up in the sky? It's kind of orangey. Yes. Wait, you, the one that you said was like Rainbow Road? Yeah, yeah. If you play that one it, without any music playing, just turn on, I can't let you throw yourself away. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> just listening God. to that song while playing Crash Team Racing is surprisingly fun. That's good. All right, well, that concludes this uh, this uh, recording sesh. We got three episodes of Frogger and three episodes of this. Or no, what? no, Something yeah, three. Like that, yeah. Three, but this one was really 20 minutes. You could rip into two, but I don't think we'll do that to the fans. This is probably the worst episode we've ever done. <laughs> what the fuck? So basically, I was trying to get a bus, and what happened was that when we funded the money... <laughs>